Let's try this one. Let's let A equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Well, as it turns out, this po characteristic polynomial is also lambda times lambda minus 1 squared. So again, we have lambda 1 equals 0, lambda 2 equals 1, lambda 3 equals 1. So our di eigenvalue 1 has a multiplicity of 2, so we want to find two eigenvectors. We want to find the dimension of this null space associated with this eigenvalue. If it has a dimension 2, we're good. We can actually um, diagonalize this. So let's see what we have. Uh, let's see. Uh, when we solve the associated homogeneous system, we end up with um, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0. When we subject this to reduced row echelon form, it becomes 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So we have, there we go. We have x1 equals 0. We have x2 equal, so this is x2, x3. They, free parameters, equals r. x3 equals s. And we can rewrite this as equal to r times 0, 1, 0, plus s times 0, 0, 1. So there you go. We have two eigenvectors, a, a basis. A, a, our basis for that null space has two eigenvectors. It's of dimension 2. It matches the multiplicity of the eigenvalue. Therefore, this can be diagonalized. So let's go ahead and actually finish the diagonalization process. When I go back and solve for the eigenvalue lambda 1 equals 0 for that eigenvalue, I get the following vector, r0 minus r as a general, and its specific would be, let's say, 1, 0, minus 1. Therefore, our matrix P would be 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is our matrix P. And it is, of course, diagonalizable. The matrix D is going to end up being 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. These along the main diagonal are the eigenvalues of our matrix. This is our, in, our matrix P. We can find the inverse for it. And when we multiply, we will find that D, in fact, equals P inverse AP. So 